this is Josiah Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm coming in here to handle Soldier, my business. What do you think you're doing prowling around inside the fort? I'd suggest you pretend you never saw me. Or else. Or else what? Who are you gonna call, Buck? He looks you up and down. Got a nice marble to Alright. Talk to me about Fane. I wonder if Backlash automatically breaks my stealth. Let's fucking annihilate this dude. That wasn't bad. It got him for 20 and 4. That's more damage than he did against the Ranger last time. I don't know. I should draw these guys to us rather than going over there by that body. So I'm just going to delay my turn. He just threw a he just threw a firestorm grenade on his own guy. Just cause Fane was up there. It's fucked up. It's a dick move. Alright. I feel like what we should do here. She's also gonna delay her turn. Ranger runs away. Pain is getting worked. It's okay. He can invis and get out of there. If he needs to. Alright, Sabeel. Gonna teleport this fucking dog. Right here. And then... She's gonna flesh sacrifice. Too bad there's no wolf to put over time. Then she's gonna hail strike these guys right here. Ooh, fire arrow on our shit. Now they come to us. This guy's still alive, right? Yeah, he is. Now Fane can come after this ranger. Or should he just get out of there? <laughs> Atropy failed. Bane has three points left. This guy has no physical armor, so I can chicken him. I'm ready. <laughs> and then... I could chloroform somebody. Wouldn't do any good right now, though. Could invis myself. Don't know that it would do that much good, though, right now. Alright, now Losa can summon some cool shit. Let's get, let's get an incarnate out of this ice. I don't like her position right now. Is she standing in the fire? I don't think she is. I think she's just barely out of the fire. And I don't want her to go into the fire, certainly. I really want a water incarnate, though. Ah, I didn't get a water incarnate. I just got a stupid regular incarnate. That's not what was supposed to happen. Well, let's get a fire totem out. Man, this is not the incarnate that I wanted. I'm gonna 
come over here and attack this guy. All right, is Afan in the fire? It looks like he's not quite in the fire either. Yeah, 45 and 10. Fields up would be good. Magister Swordsman looking tough. Bull's horns. Bull rush. Got two points left. Shields up. Incarnate, go to town. Stomp. Very rude. Makes the fire go away though, nicely. Okay, this guy's still alive, right? Yeah, and the fight's nowhere near him this time, so it should be better. Alright. I feel like we should ignore this swordsman for now. Although we're starting to get his armor down. Gonna encourage the crippling blow this guy. And that's it for now. Oh cool, the dog is frozen. Alright, now Fane is over here burning. The problem is the chicken's kind of in a position to where I can't really backstab him. I'm thinking of having Fane come down here and, like, do something else. Hmm. Rangers acting up, breaking barrels and shit, killing Fane a whole bunch. Oh, don't miss. Also just got crippled. Alright. Fane isn't in a lot of trouble, but I can't heal him because I need poison to do that. Um... Knocked down. Burning. Alright, I'm gonna armor of frost fane. Get rid of his burning at least, and give him some extra magic armor. And I'm going to... Do I need to heal anybody? No, the one person that needs to be healed isn't healed by healing. This isn't going to do jack shit. I'm just going to take off some of his magic armor. Let's attack isn't nice. Now he's encouraging people. Okay. Bane's in trouble. How's this guy's armor coming? He still has a ton of armor. Let's 
Well, I can't do anything all that cool to him yet. I have five. This costs two. I could hit him twice. I could bull rush him once, I guess. And hit him once. Alright, he's down to 17 physical armor. Here comes the hound. Going after sub going after Losa like crazy, ignoring everyone else. Alright, Fane, I need you to get in here and put this fucker, put some work on this guy. Let's see, Fane, this guy's untouched. This guy's still in chicken form, which is nice. This guy still has a lot of armor and magical armor, so I can't do anything too cool to him. I'm at 31 health. Can move over here. And I have two points. I'm not sure which will do more damage, just stabbing him or using the throwing knife. Let's just try stabbing him. Okay, now this guy has no more physical armor. Yes! So we can begin affecting him with things. Okay, I can't get another incarnate right now. But what I can do is get a totem out. Just a regular fucking totem. Good totem. And I can... Light that fucker up. What's the ranger gonna do? First aid Fane. Oh, that's not good. Fane's in big trouble. Big trouble. Sabil can't help him. We need to take out this hound. We need to do something to the swordmaster. Who's gonna go next? This swordsman. Hopefully he doesn't come after Fane. Alright, I can't really do much to this guy. He's got a bunch of magic armor. Guess I'll shock the fucking dog. And then... Let's just take this dog out if we can. Uh oh. Just getting wrecked. Los is gonna need healing. Alright, the incarnate, which sadly is not a water incarnate, so it can't heal. That's the whole reason I wanted a water incarnate, but no, no. It's just gonna sit here and beat on this guy. No, not Fane! Nah, that's unacceptable. I want the fight to go better than this. We're starting over. I know I have resurrection scrolls, but... I shouldn't have to use them on this fight. I knew I should have made fucking Fane invisible last time instead of doing extra damage. The problem is we can't heal him. And he can only heal himself by using Healy items. I have a new plan this time. No, what are you doing? Are you oh, come on! Why would you go that way? Why would you go that way when you could walk the other way and not be seen? I have a new plan this time, which involves... 
be cool if the game would tell you about the effects of terrain on your powers or lack thereof. What do you mean, Nox? Alright, he's not gonna start up here. He's he's not doing all this. He's invisible. And he's running back here. We're gonna make these dickheads come to us this time. Fuck their little Oh, oh, it's Virtus! Corpses, but his Shit. face contorts with inscrutable emotion. Joy, horror, and rapture flash over him like the changing surface of a pond. No, I didn't want to talk to him with Fane, though. Uh, I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I'm doing bad things over and over. Oh, I see what you mean, Knox. Yeah. His eyes lock onto yours. It's you! Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well, I th actually thought I was out of it, out of the water thing, because when you mouse over, if you've got a proper water surface or whatever surface, see, like, watch. Mousing over the floor here, nothing, nothing, nothing. I mouse over the blood, and you see it tells me that it's blood. And when I moused over that water, it pretty much... It pretty much told me... That it wasn't water. Like, see, here's water. This is not water. This is blood. This is water. So, the spot that I moused over to summon the thing wasn't really showing a, a, a water tooltip, but I just tried to mouse over, or I just tried to do it anyway. Because I'm... I thought, well, it looks like it's close enough to being in the water that maybe I could... Alright, before we talk to Virtus, because we have a quest to talk to this guy. He's, like, important. Let's just make sure we save here and stuff. We're going to do this differently this time. I have a plan. And it's an awesome plan. Alright. Let's talk to... The charred, the charred one here. Charter. Oh. I just laid down on a torture device and took damage from being tortured by a torture device. All right, let's talk to him. The elf's skin is pale as a corpse's, but his face contorts with inscrutable emotion. Joy, horror, and rapture flash over him like the changing surface of a pond. His eyes lock onto yours. It's you! Hmm. I'll look at him more closely, trying to remember if we've met before. He spasms suddenly. Ah, eating holes in my mind. They're making tunnels. This is how she makes them. Uh, this is how she does it. But you... 
I have a feeling when he says this is how she makes him, this is how she does it, he's talking about Dallas. And I think he's talking about how she turns people into her crazy, like, monster servants or whatever. A single tear rolls down his cheek. I'm not the last. The bishop doesn't count. No, he doesn't count. I'm done for, but you, you, there's still hope. What do you mean? The last what? You'll know. They'll find you. They'll seek you out. That's their job. <laughs> Get it? Yes. Yes, of course you do. Oh, I think he's talking about us being God-woken or whatever that thing is. Whatever that means. You need to go. Dallas, after she took me, she did something. My head... I feel like someone's rummaged their fingers through my skull. Get out while you can. I'm going to get you out of here. Oh, love, I'm wrecked. Can't go. Couldn't move my feet. It's likely to stab you in the neck and shake your hand. He giggles coquettishly, then bellows like a bear. Right, traditional mating call. <laughs> Leave! Signs of resistance. We met a maddened elf named Verdus. He said we were important, but didn't specify why. He seemed to be afflicted by some sort of dark magic. Oh, I knew a man named Ollie, and he was all I had. Till Damien came one morning, put an arrow through his back. All right, so that's all the talking to him we can do. Um, so my plan is to actually draw them into this room. We're going to make them follow us in here. So I actually am going to use Fane. And I'm also going to do something else very interesting, which is I'm going to take Sabeel and I'm going to drop some rain. I'm going to take Sabeel and I'm going to drop some rain right... We're gonna wet some shit down here and create some water surface. We're gonna grab Fane. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna quick save. Pickpocketing the torture. Oh! <laughs> Pickpocketing the tortured man. You're so right, Nox. Oh, he doesn't have anything. It's a real shame. Sorcerer! What do you think you're doing prowling around inside the fort? I just took a wrong turn somewhere. Don't think so. You broke the rules by coming down here, buck. Div huh? Traitors. Traitors, okay. Now Fane is good at getting away. So, maybe we'll just throw a quick... ...too far. Too far, too far, too far. See you suckers. Now watch. I have a plan. Oh, they just ran straight through all the water. Yeah, 
Yeah, those rangers have to follow. This jackass has to follow. Alright. He's not on water. Only costs one, though. Now that'll help fill out the water surface. But none of us are on water surface, you see? So now... Prepare to get lit up, motherfuckers! Lit up, motherfuckers! And then she runs. And then what we do is... I wonder if they'll open the door. Alright, now we're talking. Now he comes in here, he's by himself. All the enemies that want to get to him are going to have to run through all this fucking lightning. And we can start piecing this fool up. Now just a ranger... Start piecing this fool up. Miss? Huh. Miss? Shock, 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 shock. He's losing all his magic armor. Put him out there and he's stunned. Fire arrow, all right, very clever. Most it's taking some damage. All right, give me an incarnate in the water, please. In the fucking water. And a fire totem. The incarnate. Start attacking this ranger. See, when you, when you magically infuse him to be a water incarnate instead of just a normal incarnate, he ends up getting a lot more action points for some reason, which is pretty cool. Alright, here's Fane. He's burning. Whatever, whatever. Got this guy. Let's, um, light this fucker up. Miss? Oh, no, you didn't. Flurry. Ah! 
Wait, what just happened? Oh my god, the Incarnate just aced this ranger when he tried to... Alright, I feel like I should come out here. And like... Bull rush your motherfucker. Hey, who did I just hit? I just hit the swordsman. Okay. He's almost out of armor. And now he's knocked down. Hey, leave my fane alone! Losa can now summon another totem. She can zap this dude. This is going much better. This time there's no hound either, strangely enough. He still hasn't summoned a hound. Which is pretty cool. And before accidentally killing the torture guy on the floor. As long as I don't kill Dolores, that's what matters. We already got the information out of Virtus. <laughs> Welcome, Boss Pie. How you doing? Um, Sabil's turn. Where is Sabil? Oh, she's right here. Let's finish this guy off. Let's drop some shit on him. That's gonna hit a bunch of us. I don't think anybody in my party really needs to be healed right now. Go after the Houndmaster. Oh, now he's summoning a hound. And it's mad at Sabeel. Alright, it's Fane's turn. Can we fucking... Ace this swordsman. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the hound to sleep. I'm gonna chicken the swordsman. Glory is mine. And that's all that I have actions for. Shooting my Incarnate a whole bunch. Now, if on. If a fawn moves. To here. He should be able to bull rush. And get up on this guy. We need to take him out. Um, let's get another totem. Let's do a, uh, a Virtus totem. No, let's not. Uh, oh, we can do an ice totem. Seasons 52 is pretty good. Just got back from there. Oh, yeah? Did you have fun? I was just going to encourage everyone. Including the totems. She can't do anything else. Water totem, fire totems, 
acting up. This guy's still in chicken form. This guy's still asleep. She still doesn't need to heal anyone. Oh, she needs to heal the... The incarnate. Oh, I forgot about this asshole. Out of line of sight, really? Man, everything is blocked. Fine, put it here. Oh no! Oh! Whoa, Virtus just got healed to full health! What the hell just happened, guys? He just got healed to full health. Can't talk about what I had as an entree. Was it human flesh? I'm pretty sure it was human flesh. The incarnate can heal himself. And can then start whacking away here. This guy's almost dead. And now he is dead. A nice chunk of XP for killing that Hound Master. Hound Master's time. Source Hound's time. Oh, the Source Hound dies when the House Hound Master dies. That's great. So we just have the chicken here. And this one ranger. Alright, we're out of the danger zone. Wonder if he went unconscious and then the monster inside him is taking over. I don't know, he's still just laying there. I don't know what's up with Virtus. I do know that I'm right in backstab position on this fucking chicken. No! Oh, I clicked on the totem by mistake. Come on. All right, well the houndmaster's down. I can I can fucking rush this asshole. Ranger. Crippling blow. Let's bull rush this ranger. And then crippling blow this ranger. I'm ready. Lol, good try, Ranger. Good try. Alright, we've got chicken asshole right here. We're gonna get an ice totem out. We're gonna light this fucker up. So that d ends up. When I double wand that guy, he takes 7 poison, plus 4 poison is 11, plus 2 fire is 13, plus another 10 fire. That's like 23 damage, and he's both poisoned and burning. That's just from her at will double wand attack. That's pretty fucking good. Ooh, and then the ice totem finishes him off. Okay. It's just us and this weakly little ranger here. So we're gonna come out here. Why is Seville in... ...in a mode? You can just electrical discharge the ranger. And the ranger is now stunned. And light him up with the Staff of Magus. Here comes the little incarnate. Dude, that incarnate pulled fucking dirt that time. Incarnate th killed three people. Pulled dirt. Anything in my, um, 
journal here? Guess not. Alright, let's loot everybody. First we loot this ranger. Nothing. And this ranger. Nothing. And the hound master himself. He has all kinds of shit. Ooh, raised bloated corpse skill book. A magical wand of nature. A shiny red ball. Squeak, squeak. It smells faintly of stale dog's breath. Zyke's Talon, worth 100 gold. The black ring have long studied the toxins that fester in the desiccated bodies of the undead. Their charismatic necromancer, Zyke Detell, was the first to discover that by breaking off just one withered finger, a scheming villain can turn a potion of healing into one of poison. And a firestorm grenade and some gold. Learn some new recipes. And then we've also got this guy. He's got a plate and some gold. And I guess that's all the enemies. Alright. So, we're going to make this bucket aware. Hold on to the firestorm grenade for now, I guess. Hold on to the talent. Well, we're going to send Zyke's talent down to um, Fane. I'll keep the shiny red ball. Magical wand of nature. It's an air wand. Hmm. Maybe Sabeel would use that instead of her staff. I'm not sure. Then I'd need to give her another wand. See, if I give Losa two poison wands, she can actually heal Fane by double wanding him. Right? Now she can be like, what's up, Fane? And give him a bunch of free healing anytime she wants. Or maybe I should give the poison wands to Sabeel, since she's the healer. Maybe I give the poison wands to Sabeel. And I have Losa use this air wand and this fire wand, I guess. Oh, or Losa could have a water a water staff. Okay, wait. If I give this water staff to Losa, right? And I have Losa use the water staff. Does that mean that Losa can now at will create a water surface? Did not create a water surface. Oh, but she could do it with staff of the Magus, right? No, that also doesn't make a water surface. Well, never mind that whole stupid idea. 10 to 11 water. We'll give the poison wands the Seville. Seven to nine fire. Poison. Five to seven poison, 10 to 11 water. Now, uh, let's just give her these two wands for now. Uh, the Raised Bloated Corpse skill book. Go down here to Losa. This gold. Go to a fawn. And this plate can be marked as wares. We can auto sort our stuff. All right, so what that means now is Losa can do 
fire and lightning. Fire and... Yeah, fire and lightning. Whereas... Sabeel... Uh, I did not mean to do that. He's burning, but he's also... Alright, so he's now damaged, right? So she can be like, hey, I got you, buddy. And heal him right up. Uh, you had a cheesecake. No, a cottage cheese, no dairy. It's a steak cut of beef taken from the smaller end of the tenderloin. Ham snake. Double wanding him equals scandalous. Yeah, it does. Hello, hey, ask Scheffner. How you doing? Welcome. That's your whole experience with divinity? I did not mean to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm experiencing a lot of that as well. I want Losa to have something cooler than... Now, what about crafting? We can craft some fucking wands and shit, right? We can craft a makeshift wand with a short stick and a skull. Let's make a wand and see what we get. What did we just make? Four to five water wand. Oh, hold on. What if I use water and fire together? Water and air together. Now can I auto shock people? Hmm, maybe not. Doesn't look like that's actually going to work. What if I do it the other way around? It's probably not going to do anything. I got to test it out on somebody. Bane, come here. See what this does. Oh, oops. Bad place to test. We're standing in the middle of a bunch of water. He just automatically ran over to stand in the healing poison. It's fucking brilliant. Alright, there's water everywhere because I've been casting rain spells like a madman. I'm just trying to test out some different wand combinations. Alright, so let's say I blast him with this and this now. It doesn't really do jack shit. Hmm, what would be the most useful elements for her to go with? I guess probably fire. Well, her most damaging wand is certainly this magical wand of nature, so I guess I should use it. And then four to five water. Unfortunately, these don't seem to do anything cool together. Let's make another wand and see what we get. Did I make one? Let's see what we got this time. An air wand. So, four to five water, four to five air. I guess she'll just go double air. Stick with a the theme. Oh, wait a minute. That gives me a thought, though. Let's say I grab Fane again. He's my testing dummy. And Fane comes over here and stands on the water. Now, let's say I hit him with... Let's say I hit him with just one of these wands. 
All right, it makes him shocked, right? But what if he's standing in the water and I hit him with both of these wands? Is it going to make him stunned? Because if so, that could be really cool. Well, didn't work out because he automatically starts running. How do I make him stand still? You need to stop running, Fane. Play dead. Now while you're playing dead, get zapped. Well, whatever. Double, double air seems like it could be kind of cool. Especially since, oh yeah, she can lay down a water field. And now Losa can light that shit up. And make a huge amount of... Oh, that'd be good. A good one-two combo in the beginning round of combat, right? Is we throw down some fucking rain. Like, hey, get some rain, motherfuckers. And then immediately, Losa's like, hey, motherfuckers. That didn't work. There. And then she can use her two wands to heal him. Beautiful. Alright, we're good to go now. Get back in the party. I think everybody's fully healed and stuff. Did not mean to do that. Alright, so we've dealt with the Houndmaster and his homies. We've talked to Virtus. Now we can come over here and we can talk to... Let's light these braziers just because I always like to light everything. We can talk to Dolores. Please. <laughs> Please, healing. I need healing. Hmm. I see that you're a Magister. Not really in the business of helping Magisters. A shepherd in wolf's clothing. They beat me for helping sorcerers. Children. We were trying to... to help them escape. I want to know exactly what the Magister's cure for sorcerers entails. They remove all the source from within. The husk that remains is left empty, soulless, easily controlled. What did you do to cross your fellow Magisters? They beat me for helping sorcerers. Children. We were trying to, to help them escape. What interest do you have in the welfare of sorcerers? Not much of a Templar, are you? Magister, whatever you're called. I joined this order to serve the divine. He would not, would never accept this torture. It is slavery. I serve the divine, not his son. Well, you should probably be aware that the divine is dead. I'm no fool, but his legacy is alive. In all of us who, who long for justice, we can't, can't have that while his relics are being used against civilians. Hmm. 
Interesting. Well then, you must know a way out of here. What is it? There's a boat that can take you into the dunes beyond. Two associates of mine run it. I can show you where. But they'll kill you on sight if you don't know the proper password. Heal me, and I'll gladly tell you. Hmm. I don't want to use a healing potion. I got healing spells and shit, I'm just saying. Let's leave him for now. The injured Magister lies before you, in pain, clinging to life. I mean... Doesn't mean we can't pickpocket him. <laughs> Just saying. The injured Magister lies before you. The injured Magister lies before you, in... It won't even. Well, what if I just cast a heal on him? Let's find out. The color wells back into the magister's cheeks, and his wounds knit together into solid flesh. I. I feel it at work upon me already. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. No one deserves to die alone on the ground. That is what separates you from the Divine Order. I want to know how to escape the prison. There is a waterway. A boat. Hand me a map. It isn't far. You'll meet some associates of mine. Tell them Madame Zur sent you, and they'll let you pass. You don't look much like a Madame Zur. No, I imagine not. She's the headmistress of an orphanage in the far north. She keeps sorcerer children safe from the Divine Order. I can think of no nobler soul in all the realm. What's up, Saito? How you doing? Hmm. With her help, we've saved countless children from Dallas and Alexander. And we aim to save many more. How many associates do you have? Are there many magisters working against the Divine Order? Enough to matter. Not enough to stage a coup. The Voidwoken have people terrified. Not only for their lives, but for the very air they breathe. The sun that shines upon them. Dallas and Alexander offer a solution. People need solutions at a time like this, no matter the consequences. Some people, anyway. Very well then, human. You've given me a second life. I won't soon squander it, or forget what you've done. Thank you. I would never give you that horrible quasi-MMO. Healed. Thank you, my friend. I will settle this debt. Off he goes. Okay. We met a dissenting magister called Dolores. He told us he's trying to help some sorcerers escape Fort Joy and told us of an escape route. Perhaps we'll encounter others like Dolores as we try to escape. We saved the life of Magister Dolores, who revealed us a way to escape the fort. To get away safely, we should tell his co-conspirator that Madame Zur sent us. Master of the Universe, where every character is replaced by a cow. That does make a lot of sense. It's the world we all want to live in. An iron key marked with the emblem of the Magisters. Oh, lucky find. No, you're not supposed to have that, Sabeel. The BBM is supposed to have this. The big boss man. 
112, 81, 81, 83. Emu and the Masters of the Milky Way. Sounds pretty good, Knox. Take a bucket. And an oil barrel. I wonder if I should have one of them carry an oil barrel instead of... Instead of a water barrel. I have one person carrying a water barrel and one person carrying, and two people carrying water barrels, but one person carrying an ooze barrel. But maybe I should have an oil barrel instead. I'm curious about something. What happens when you shoot an oil barrel or when you shoot oil with electricity? Yeah. Nothing. It doesn't ignite it or anything. Hmm. So that's the thing. If, even if we do throw an oil barrel out there and we blow it up, we don't have any fire attacks without switching wands or something to ignite. Well, like, I guess she could cast Dimensional Bolt and hope that it lights that shit on fire. Let's see. Unlikely to. Because I can do really cool shit now with teleportation, like, hey, there's an oil barrel here, I could just drop it right on the enemies and cause all kinds of havoc to ensue. You don't have fire attacks? Well, I mean, we have some fire scrolls, and we also have fire wands that we could use, but we're using different wands instead. I think we have some fire skill books. We just don't, um, none of my characters know how to use them yet. We have a lot of skill books. Yeah, we have some fire skill books. Ignition, that would work. But none of us have any skill in pyrokinetics yet. Necromancer. A bloated corpse. Using books is hard. It is. But well, we can't use the books. Well, that's not technically true. We technically could use the books, but it wouldn't give us the ability to use the skill. In order to be able to use the skill, you have to first go in here to combat abilities, and you have to put a point into pyrokinetic or whatever. If you don't have a point in it, you can't use those skills. And we won't get any more points to put into anything until we level up, and we're not going to level up for a while. I sound especially lively today. Me? I sound pretty much the same as always. Like, what if I tried something crazy? This probably won't work or do anything, but what if Seville is like... Do, 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 teleport oil barrel on top of brazier. Target is blocked. Ah, oh, yeah, she can't teleport. She could teleport it onto a pre-existing fire, though. Like, on the floor. Did we ever loot this dead ranger? I did pickpocket a tortured guy. He didn't even have anything. That's the fucked up part. Alright, I'm not... I don't know why there's a... thing of poison here. Well, I do know why. I know it came from my own... Dimensional bolt, but whatever. Anyway, so I think I'll take an oil barrel. Sabil will keep carrying the water barrel, and I think Losa will get rid of her water barrel. And take this oil barrel instead. They have the same weight. What do you get the pyromaniac who has everything? They have the same weight, so... 
Now I have an ooze barrel, a water barrel, and an oil barrel in case I need them. Alright, there's a note here. Bloody note. This note is soaked through with what can only be blood. Report 29 Sempton. Our military capabilities are improving. Silent monks prove effective foot soldiers, obedient to the end. They are sometimes prone to bouts of listlessness and melancholia, curable by a shot of sauce. Keep them hungry, keep them stable. Ah, uh, that's what they're doing when they're basically... They're basically pulling all the source out of people and turning them into, like, mindless zombies that they can use as slaves. They're kind of like the, um... What are they called? They're kind of like the Tranquil in Dragon Age. Except I don't think they have quite as much faculties as the Tranquil do. Another bucket helmet. Man, I found a lot of those. Rubbish. And now I can go down this ladder right here into this other room that I couldn't get into before. Ooh, and I got a bunch of XP just for finding this room. What's in here? Did you have that nightmare again where you wake up from a terrible nightmare and Tommy was so is in your bed asking what's wrong? See, now we've learned a lot about what kind of dreams Saito has. Alright, there's some bone pile and a skeleton. There's some skeletons here that we can... Dude, these skeletons have... This skeleton has 3,043 hit points and it's level 18. If this thing wakes up, we are fucked. <laughs> Sheep shears? What? A bone pile. Ooh, a magical pendant. We just found some good ass shit. Of course, joke's on us, right? We find a magical necklace, we can't wear it because we all still have these unremovable collars on our necks. Uh, we're gonna make a bucket wares. We're gonna make a bucket wares. We're gonna take a look at these sheep shears. Shiny, sharp sheep shearers shears. Try saying that five times after a mug of beer. They're a dagger. Are they better than one of his daggers? Well, they're as good as his shiv. I do like the idea. Oh, wait, one says scales with finesse, and the other one doesn't. Let's see. He attacks. Cheap shears. I don't know if I should actually use these as a weapon or if I should just hold on to them as a strange item that I may need to use to shear a sheep. But then we also got this simple pendant. A simple pendant. Unremarkable save for the cheery twinkle that glitters within the inlaid stone. That's a nice fucking pendant. 11 magic armor and wits and poison resistance. I wouldn't want that on him because he doesn't want poison resistance. If he had poison resistance, he would get healed less by poison. But it'd be great for my main character because I use a lot of wits and more magic armor would be good and some poison resist. Unfortunately, I can't wear it because I'm wearing... The damn thing won't come off. This stupid thing instead. When do you think you'll start streaming Dream Daddy? I don't know, Saito. I don't know. That will even be a thing. Apparently this is a dead end. Dream Dairy. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna stream. Dream Dairy. Now there's some other stuff over here. 
perch is where that ranger was. Oh, somebody could have gotten up onto this obnoxious perch and been blasting on us. You sure you're okay? I'm never really okay. A lot of buckets in this place. A fire arrow and a poison flask. I think those things are both going to go to Fane. I think we're going to give this Firestorm grenade to Fane also. More buckets added to my wares, which I can get a solid single gold piece for. And I'm still excited about it at this point. All right, well that's everything we can do on this level of the of the prison. This is we've we've explored the whole thing. There's something over here though. Um and this is where the fire slugs were. And this is that door that we can't get through, but we know where it goes cuz we've already been on this other side. We just can't pass through yet without another rank in thievery. Oh, but we got a key. So maybe we can get through there now. We got the prison key after killing the Houndmaster. Apparently having that key doesn't do fuck all. I have a lot of keys. Prison key. can't pick the lock. Wait, wait, wait! I don't want to accidentally waste one of my lock picks attempting that when he clearly can't do it. He's the one that can pick without picks, but he can't do it because he doesn't have enough thievery. Yeah. So at this point, our only choice... Let's take a look at our quests real quick. Oh, I'm way over on time for this episode. I need to end this episode here. If you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere, because I'm not done playing. If you are watching on YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Divinity Original Sin 2.